Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy, Gaming and in this episode, we're going to continue pump, pumping out our uh, uh, carrier ships. So we have 40 interceptors already on our uh, carrier, and we have a total of 26 um, bombardment ships. Uh, and But I want to get this up to 80, which is the maximum capacity. Uh, so right now, our shipyard is making ships for the AI. Uh, so they got all of these guys in here uh, with ships under construction. Um, so let's go into build ships and we're going to go to small and we're going to go to she heavy fighter and select our standard bomber loadout. And then how many of these can we add? We need 54 more. Let's see if we can add 50. Yeah, we're going to be short on engine parts for that. But let's place the order so they're in the queue. And um, let's look at our logical overview here and see what's going on. Yeah, so it looks like uh, it's just we're being held up on resources. And really probably the only way to fix that is to... Uh, you know, assign more more ships. I've already got a lot of ships assigned to this station, but it's the engine parts that we don't have enough of. But you know what, though? We have a full thing of antimatter cells. We have plenty of energy and plenty of refined metal. So it's actually not... Uh, at least currently, it's not that we're out of resources. It's just that for that quantity that we've ordered, there's not enough. But... I don't know if that's calculated. That's probably, well, yeah, it would have to be calculating it upon our current stock, but more of this will be produced as those ships are being built. So it still might, you know, when it's all said and done, we still might have enough resources to get all those built. Okay, so um, let's take a look at a couple of other things here. Um, let's see, we're sitting currently at 73.5 million in the wallet. And uh, let's see if our trading stations and our headquarters have any extra money for us to pull out. Um, so no, headquarters is sitting right at around 10 million, which is kind of where I'd like to keep them. Um, we can pull a little bit of money out of this trading station. I haven't really run, run the game a lot since uh, the last episode. Um, so there's not a whole lot really that's changed. That trading station, it doesn't... It doesn't do anything. I, I'm going to have to do something about that at some point, but it's just not a top priority right now. Um, and then, let's see, the defense platform in Matrix 9 also sells whole parts. And uh, we can pull about a million or so out of that. So that brings us up to about 80.3 million in our wallet. In our, um, let's take a look at our, our empire. So our net worth at the moment is, is over 3 billion which is pretty good, but we got a lot of that tied up into things. Let's take a look next at our station in Terran space and see how it's doing. Um, so that's going to be the Terran building supply. We'll look at the, uh, the build view here. Okay, it's getting close. It's getting close. Um, so it's just got to do this section here it looks like and then put in the habitats and then we'll be should be fully operational um who do i have assigned to or how many i should say ships do i have assigned to this station let's take a look here so i only have two gas miners and two ore miners um probably uh, well not probably we're most definitely going to have to have some more of those let me um yeah let's go the logical overview so right now it's out of silicon so it looks to me just based upon looking at this that we we need to get some more ore miners over there now one thing we could do is can we teleport to Antigone yet? Let's take a look at that.
Where's Antigone? Oh, here we go. No, we can't. We'd have to fly over there. Uh, but what I was thinking is, I wonder what the... I wonder what the blueprint cost is for the large miners. Um, and, and I buy them from Antigone because they have the Sentinel version. So we could... We could run over there really quick and check. In fact... Oh, let me think about this for a second. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's hop in our air kanji and, and just fly over there and see how much those blueprints cost. Because, you know, I keep buying them from the AI. Well, here's the thing, though. It's not just the ship. We're also going to have to buy all the modules that that ship needs. And we definitely, I'm positive we don't have enough cash on hand for that. So, all right, well, let's just... Let's just buy a few more from Antigone. I want to look to, if we go back to our shipyard. Yeah, see, I've got all of these miners um, assigned to the shipyard. The ones that have shipyard in name are obviously the permanent ones. But I've pulled all of my other miners that I normally use for the, the depot and the headquarters over here, too, just to kind of prime it. But, you know, it, we're cranking out ships like crazy, so... Which is a good thing, obviously. Um, if we look at the supplies depot. Yeah, so we're at running out of ice there. And so water, everything else is looking good except for water. But the things that need water. So those three commodities and medical supplies which translate into food rations and medical supplies, um, they're full. So even though we don't have any water at the moment, we have enough of the intermediate and end products to keep us going for a while. So I think what I'll do is not assign any new miners to this station for a bit longer. We'll keep an eye on it, though. Let's like a, take a look at our headquarters. Okay, so these guys are out of silicon, but they have almost a full thing of silicon wafers. And all of these intermediate products are doing pretty good. A little bit low on anti-matter uh, anti converters and completely out of advanced electronics, but we're still making them, though. So, yeah, I think, again, we'll kind of hold off a little bit until we can um, or, or give give our ships a little bit more time for the shipyard to to get the more resources in but you know the way things are going I'm, I'm starting to wonder if I'm going to have to just keep all those ships on the shipyard full time and then buy new ones for these other places um, I, I won't really know for sure until you know it just runs a while and I kind of see how things go uh, which is again another reason why I would really like to get the blueprint so I can just make them myself and instead of having to continue, you know, it, it's two, it's two issues. I have to buy them from the AI, the ships themselves, which of course is expensive, but then I have to send them up to, uh, down to Terran space for the shields and up to Argon space for the turrets before they're actually ready, which just, you know, takes more time. So it'd be nice if we could just do all of that at the shipyard. Oh, there's one other thing that we need too, though. Uh, I just forgot about that. We, we need to also buy the the large ship bay and that damn thing's expensive too um all right so here let's do this i, I can teleport to argon prime but um let's just jump in the air kanji 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 i think um we'll fly up to argon real no actually no we'll just fly to we'll fly to antigone and then i'll just send my ship back home and we'll teleport to Argon, I just want to see what the large shipyard costs. I don't remember off the top of my head. I know it's expensive, and we probably don't have enough money for it yet. So, yeah, we're still a ways off before we can start manufacturing large ships of any kind. Um, right. Okay. So, let's go ahead and hop in our... Uh, where is our era kanji? Kanji. I keep going to kanji. It's kanji. Let's go here... Reverse Eric Kanji. 
Oh, it's a back in reverse fortune. Okay, so let's just teleport to it. Um, <clears throat> Entering system. I was, fortune. I was kind of hoping we could... Irukanji. Irukanji. Okay. Ir ah. Irukanji. Uh, I was kind of hoping we could jump in our, our freighter. Or not our freighter, our carrier, and go do battle with the... The Xenon, but we're not, we're still not ready for that. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen in this episode either. So much to do. This place is looking awesome, though, man. Huge facility. Okay, so let's uh, set in a course here for uh, Antigone Memorial. And specifically, we want to go to here. So, start guidance to object. Whoops. And I'll see you guys over there. Requesting permission to dock. What the hell, man? My ship keeps slowing down on the highway. I don't know why. That's weird. Entering system. Pontifex's claim. Alright, now it's going at full speed. Oh, see, it's, it's going up again. Entering system. Holy vision. Hands off the, hands off the stick. <laughs> okay, is it going to stay on now? Looks like it. Nope. It's slow. It, wait a minute. Does it always do that before it goes Entering through a gate? system. True sight. Oh, I wonder if that's if that's new in the recent uh, what is it, six point two update? Yeah. See, it's starting to slow down before it goes through the gate. Hmm. I'm not. Entering system. I'm not. Contact. I'm not so sure. I'm a fan of that change. Um. I mean, it kind of, I guess it kind of makes, would make sense in a real life situation, but it just slows you down, man. Anyway, okay, let's go. Ships, large ship. Okay, so we would want the Magnetar gas and the Magnetar Sentinel. Okay, so those are 15.8 million. I mean, you know, that's a nice chunk of change, but it's not like crazy expensive so if we bought both of that that would cost us about 32 mil why and I'm also gonna at some point want to probably get the in in Carcatura in Carcot in Carcatua and such a mouthful um, but this one's less a much less important for us right now than the miners and it's a lot more expensive too so let's let's go ahead and buy these now. Um, okay. Good luck out there. Thank you. All right, so we got that done. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna teleport to Argon Prime. Uh, yeah, right here. Okay, let's go over here. Entering system, Argon Prime. Okay, let's go say hi to, uh, what's this lady's name, Celine or something? I don't know. <laughs> Celine something. Celine Yatar. Hi, Celine Yatar. Okay, let's go get a blueprint. Uh, we want to go to modules. We want to go to build modules in the large ship fabric. Oh, yeah. See, that's 243.7 mil. <laughs> Yowzers. Okay. Well, we'll get there. It's just going to take a while. We will get there. And then the XL fab bay is actually only, looks like it's only four, 4 million more than the large ship bay. Cool. Okay. So, let's hold off on that. You know what I do want to look at, though, is 
if we go to no not defense modules turn that off if we go to equipment from argon oh maybe i've already purchased these we like their um their flak turret but we would need to buy the large flak turret Oh, no, there isn't a large flak dirt. There's only a medium. And we already own it. Okay, good. So we don't have to buy that. We already own that. Um, so we use Argon flak turrets and we use Terran shields. And I don't know if we've purchased Terran shields. But then we're going to, we also need like the engines and all that sort of stuff too. So let's go back to Yeah, let's go to engines. So we would need a large all around. Oh, well, that's not that expensive actually. Large all around. Yeah, let's let's actually just buy that right now. Argon large all around. Okay. Good luck out there. Oh. Hold on, I'm not done shopping. So we'll get the shields from the Terrans. We got the engines from the Argon. Um, we need large all around. Ooh, Mark III thrusters. I mean, eventually I'd like those, but I think for a mining ship, we'll just go with the Mark ones, just so we can make it. Because mining ships don't need, like, to be able to turn really quickly. It's, it's nice, but not essential. Uh... Yeah, and we don't have, like, combat versions of of large thrusters. Okay, so that takes care of thrusters. And I think that's all we would need to be able to build the ship. You know, once we have the bay itself, of course. Well, and the, the Terran shields. All Good right, so... There. Oh, did I... Hold on. Did I cancel that? Got, a little, got in a little hurry there. Okay, so we bought the all-around engine and yeah, see I didn't buy the thruster. So confirm that. Good luck out there. Right, okay, so let's go to let's jump down to Terran space. Uh teleport to two. And we'll take a look and see what the large entering system Sigaris. large shields are. Don't think I bought those yet. I think I just got the small ones or maybe the mediums. That guy looks really bored. Okay. Equipment. Shield generators. Terran large mark three. Oh, that's not that expensive. We can we can buy that right now. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> um. Yeah, let's buy that. And I think we want. Yeah, we're gonna need medium shield generators for for some of the turrets. I think. Um, and you know, if and when we start manufacturing. Katanas, which we probably will, because that's my I think that's my favorite Corvette in this game. Um How's our money? Yeah, let's let's just buy this now. And that takes care of the shields for large ships and for medium ships and medium turrets. And large turrets. Okay, confirm. Good luck out there. Thank you. All right, so we have everything we need to build the Magnetar mining ships, except for the hangar bay itself. So that's going to be a bit of a grind. Um, but, you know, now that we have the shipyard, we'll be able to, to really start bringing in some, some bank to make that happen. Okay, let's teleport back to our shipyard. Um, oh, no, let's, let's go back to our headquarters. Now, there is... Hmm, 
There's one thing we could try to do. Let's actually teleport to our raptor. We could just take the current fleet that we have. Entering system. Nopalia's fortune. And and just it's kind of framey in here. My goodness. Well, that's because we got a lot going on in our sector here. Um I'm I'm just I'm kind of making stuff up as we go here. <laughs> so I'm trying to think out loud. Um so so we could take the raptor, because the raptor, the build out on the raptor, uh I put I put a lot of of station smashing guns on it. I kind of built it out more like a battleship than a than a carrier in terms of its turrets. Um, and I wanted to just try it, try it and see how well it did against a station. Um, it does have you know some um, anti fighter turrets too. It's got a couple flax and a couple beams, but it's mostly uh, just plasmas. So we could go mix it up with that station and just see how it does. And if it looks like it's not going to be feasible <coughs> or work very well, you know, then we could retreat and then come back and wait till we have our full complement of bombers. Um, let's look at the shipyard again here. Ships in construction. Okay. Well, it's currently making our she's, so we definitely want to wait. Yeah, we we should at least wait for this first batch to finish here. But what we could do though is we could we could start assembling um, the fleet. In fact, the rest of the fleet's actually over in Grand Exchange, anyways, just patrolling around the headquarters. So so I got my support ship, the Orca, and my destroyers. You know, they're already here, just kind of. ready to go so all right i'm gonna fly the carrier over to to the headquarters and then when the bomber she's are done I'll, I'll just have them fly over and rendezvous with us and i think we will head up to requesting permission to die. uh we will head up to tharkas cascade 15 um, because the xenon have installed a wharf here and we, I, I don't want a wharf in this system uh Definitely don't want to warp in this system. And we'll just see how, how things go. And I'll be careful. And if it looks like this is a really bad idea, you know, then we'll, re like I said, we'll retreat and we'll wait till we have all of our bombers. Okay, so um, let's take command of the ship. And I think it's on, is it on autopilot? Autopilot. Disengage. Yeah, it was. Okay. Okay, so we have our ship, uh, our capital ship here, staged at the gate. What we're going to do now is go into the map and grab the rest of the fleet. So I want the... Destroyers to defend for now. This group currently has a different role intercept per commander. Oh, did I click on the wrong ship there? Yeah, so let's put uh, the defenders in Gamma Group. Joining squad. This is just mostly for the trip out there. We'll probably redo all of this once we get onto the battlefield. Um, okay, the Orca. Well, we can just put the Orca in defend as well. Joining squad. Beta group. That's uh, interceptors for the Orca. Okay. What are these? These are all she's. Hmm. We could re-outfit these guys as bombers. 
Because it's not likely that I'm going to send the orca off by itself moving forward. It's probably going to always be with the carrier itself and, and stay close to the carrier so it can be defended. Then we wouldn't have to rebuild those ships. Uh, I don't know, though, yet if I want to actually do that because we might be in situations where I do want to send it off kind of out of the way but not leave it completely defenseless I mean it does have turrets but it's not a it's not really a warship it's a supply ship auxiliary uh, yeah so let's let's just keep those those fighters assigned to, to the orca it doesn't look like I currently have any fighters at all assigned to, to the destroyers which is fine okay um, now let's go back to our shipyard and take a look. Okay, so it's gonna it's building this last she bomber for us, and then it's got 35 more in queue. So what I'm gonna do is wait for this one to finish, and then I'm gonna bring all of these new she's over. I gotta rename them uh, too, and assign them to the bomber group uh, on the carrier, and then. Once that's done, I'm going to set out with the fleet and head over to Tharka's Cascade. And once we get there, then we will, you know, establish our, our battle lines and then uh, do the attack. So I, I'll pro I think I'm going to cut the camera here and I'll bring you guys back, um, you know, once, we, once we're ready to, to mount the attack. Okay, so see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are um, positioned over the wharf, uh, myself and the four destroyers. And I'm going to, I'm going to try something here. I don't know if it's going to work. I've actually attempted this multiple times and had to reload the game. And the reason why is because I can't seem to get the Osakas to stay at range from the Graviton turrets like they used to do. It's like something has changed with the update in this game that's not working right. Um, and I'm not talking about they're just getting slightly into range of the Gravitons. They're flying all the way up to the station and getting right up in its business and then getting blown up. And I don't understand why. Um, the first thing to look at when that kind of thing happens is you, you want to make sure that their low range turrets, the medium turrets, are all set to attack fighters, but they are. Look at each one of these. They're all set to attack fighters. I haven't changed that. Um, so theoretically, they're supposed to stay at range and attack the station. And I've told them to do that. You know, I've had them do this many, many times in the past. And they haven't had a lot of trouble with it. But for whatever reason, they're just... They're flying right into the maw of the enemy and getting blown up. And I cannot understand why. I don't understand why. So we're gonna try something here. I'm gonna I'm gonna disarm their turrets completely. I mean, you you guys cannot use your turrets. Period. None of them. Okay. So they're all turned off. So what that means then is when I tell them to attack the station, they should just fly within you know range of their forward batteries and then stop and shoot from there. That's what they should do. If that's what they actually do, that remains to be seen. Okay, so the other thing we're going to do is um, excuse me, I'm going to take and put all of these guys into alpha groups, so all the fighters are in one group. And the reason I'm doing that is because I have to give danger joining in order for me to get the Osakas to to attack what I, what I want them to attack, what I specifically have targeted, the only way I've been able to get them to do that reliably, reliably is to give them the direct attack my target command, the keyboard shortcut command. Um, if they're just set to this attack, it's unreliable. Sometimes some of them will do it, some of them won't, some of them attack something else. It just does not work um, in my experience. The downside though is that when I give that direct attack command, it applies to everybody in the fleet. So what I think we're going to do is I think I'm going to tell the Orca to just 
leave the fleet altogether. And it shouldn't have any default orders. Yeah, hold position. And incidentally, I got the rattlesnake guarding the orca too because um, the, I, I, I don't trust the AI at all in the rattlesnake for station attacks because, you know, the weapons are, the range is just too short. <clears throat> okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into here and we're going to select this defense module right here and target it. Okay, so it's targeted. And I don't know if you guys noticed this, but these guys now are going supposedly going to attack this command or, or attack this target. And it's um it's this it's this guy right here. Okay. So he's targeted. But now what we have to do is we have to tell Alpha Group not to to attack. Oh wait, hold on, sorry. We have to first give the direct attack command. Well, actually, let's not yet. Let's just see if they'll... Joining squad. Let's just see if the destroyers will actually attack this of their own volition. I'm not expecting them to because this just doesn't work very well. I mean, you can you can see that they have the attack command, but let's just see if they actually will do it. If they won't, if they don't, then we'll give them the direct attack command, but then we'll have to tell the fighters not to do attack. Uh, looks like we lost a node end, but that's all right. It happens. So I'm going to give them like 15, 20 more seconds, and if they if they don't get on it... Yeah, see, if you look at my radar, they're turning away. They're, they are not Danger. doing what they're Hazardous supposed to do, detected. because that, that command doesn't work. They're still derping out. They should They should have already been heading towards that module. All right, so we're going to do it this way then. I'm going to give them the direct attack command now. Got it. Okay, but we have to tell the fighters, uh, select uh, group, and then remove that order so that they don't also attack, because I don't want them to attack. All right, let's see what happens. If the Osakas go in uh, right up in right up to the station again, I'm gonna declare that function of this game broken in this version of the game because that's not the behavior that it was doing when I was you know did this before when we were attacking the Xenon. It was working for the most part. Danger, hazardous region. But this is detected. just flat broke. See, I are the Osaka's moving in? I don't know. I can't tell. It looks like they're still just derpity derping. Okay, what if we let's let's do this. Let's remove their orders. Let's put them in a follow group instead. Joining squad. Okay, now let's give them the direct attack command. Affirmative. But here again, we got to tell the fighters not to do a direct attack. Uh, select group. Remove orders. Okay. Danger. Hazardous region detected. So we've basically completely refreshed the Osakas, gave them a completely different group, and then a direct attack command. It looked like in the radar they might be starting to move in. So then the next question is, are they going to stay at range though? Or are they going to get right up in the station's business again and get killed? I guess we'll find out here in a moment. We got that, you know, yeah, see that, that one Osaka looks like he flew right into the station. 
yeah see he's he's right down there in range he's going to get destroyed by these drones and he's going but even before the drones take him out he's going to get destroyed by the gravitons danger and that that's what i'm dealing detected. with you guys it's yeah he's dead i couldn't even i don't have time We're to even pull him out if i wanted to or she but whatever it doesn't matter um so yeah that's what i've been dealing with and Explosion it's very frustrating point. And I don't think this I don't think this particular feature where you have your destroyers attack your target is working like like it used to. It seems to be broken to me. We were hit. So okay, and, and see Osaka 2 now is in range of the Gravitons, and he's gonna get popped here in a second too. I mean it's I, I can't even pull them out. The, by the time I gave him the command and he got we turned hit. around, he'd be gone. So the only way this is going to happen is if I if I take out all of the defense platforms by myself and keep the Osakas completely away from it until they're all gone and then Danger. once the Hazard tourists are gone then I can bring detected. them in to help destroy everything else. So let's reload. I think that's what we're going to have to do. If you guys have other suggestions, um, I'm all ears, but if you've been following this series all along, about a month or so ago, a month and a half ago, when I was putting these videos out daily, you know, we had did a big campaign and we just completely demolished the Xenon up in the split free families uh, sectors. And this was working at that point in time. It wasn't perfect. Sometimes the Osakas would get a little too close, but for the most part, I could rely upon them to stay at range and attack my target. And it is not working now. It's, gonna, it's not working at all. And I don't understand why. Um, the only difference is, I, I, then I was in the rattlesnake. Now I'm in the, the raptor, but that shouldn't matter. I don't see why that makes a fucking bit of difference. The command is the command, you know. So, yeah, I'm a I'm a little salty about it. I'm not gonna lie. Very frustrating. Um, it's wasted a lot of my time today in real life trying to get this episode out because it's not working right, and I'm just not. A happy camper right now I'll be honest with you so we're gonna have to you know do this job ourselves. that's that's what it boils down to and it's a shame because it shouldn't be that way danger hazardous region detected okay so we're back in position I'm going to tell the Osaka's to go guard the Orca. Just get out of the fight because you guys are stupid as fuck. You don't know what the hell you're doing. Um, yeah, so defend commander. And I'm going to have to do the job myself. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna uh, time lapse this. It's gonna take probably a good 20 to 30 minutes in real time for me to take all of these out, and then when we take them all out, then we can, you know, bring the destroyers back to take out the rest of the station. Danger. Um, Hazardous okay, region so let's detected. go here. We're gonna select this first defense module, target it, and take it out. Incidentally, if you're wondering why I'm not using my bombers, it's a bad idea to use bombers against stations. It does not work in this game. I've tried it before. I've seen other YouTubers try it. And you, you, you take too many losses. Bombers are great against capital vessels, but not against enemy stations. Plus the fact that I've got um, glass mortars, which means they have to get in closer anyways, which makes it even less... Um, viable to do, you know. So what we're going to do is we're going to get in close enough to where our forward medium plasma turrets can also fire. And that should still keep us out of range of the gravitons, I think. We'll see. If it doesn't, we'll just have Danger. to do Hazardous region detected. Yeah. Well, okay, so our, our medium gravitons are now firing too, so let's stop here. Um, well, they were a second ago. Let's move in a little closer. 
for some reason they're targeting oh no they, hold on a sec. okay hold on a sec <clears throat> i think uh, i should have all the plasma turrets set to attack my target let's just double check that Yeah, everything is set to attack my current enemy for plasma turrets. <clears throat> Only the beam turrets and the flak turrets are set to tip fighters. Okay. Let's target this next defense module here. And take it out. Danger. It doesn't take it doesn't take us too long to take out the small ones, but those big ones take quite a bit of time to take out. I want to make sure my um, both bottom and top turrets are firing. Looks like they are. Uh, I'm not worried about these drones. We have enough flak and uh, beam turrets also equipped on this carrier to those Danger. drones aren't going to be a problem. Explosion imminent. Okay. Um, very Danger. good. Let's go to here. And we'll select this next defense module. Um, let's see, where are we at? No, we want... That one, I think, next. Okay. Our, our nose up a little more so we're, we're making sure that the lower turrets are also able to fire. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Man, I wish this game would remember your camera position so you don't have to reset it every freaking time. It's such a pain in the ass. Shouldn't take too long to get that that guy out of there. Um, doesn't look like we have our medium turret on it, but that's okay. It's not going to take too long. <clears throat> we just have to be careful because we don't want to get so close that we start taking graviton fire ourselves. There's a lot of drones, though. <laughs> look at all the red dots on the radar. That's right. Like I said, I'm not too worried about it. I think Explosion the, rap imminent. the Raptor isn't going to have any trouble dealing with those guys. Okay, let's go ahead and select. Um, I think I want. Danger, hazardous region detected. Yeah, let's do that one next. So we'll target this one. I think. Wait, hold on. That's the big one. We're gonna save the big ones for last because they take a lot longer to take down. Um, yeah, let's do this one next. bring our bow up a little bit so we can get the top and the bottom going might be a little too much let's dip back down a little more there we go I mean this is definitely working um, we can you know this raptor with the way that I've got it outfitted it's it's basically Danger. doing the function Hazardous of a battleship and it's very effective it's just that i wish i could get the destroyers to work like they're supposed to too because instead of this taking me 30 minutes of real time it would take maybe 10 minutes but it just it seems broken i don't know explosion imminent. okay we got that one out of the way um Let's see, we want to target... Yeah, let's get that one next. Ok, 
get it positioned around that way. Uh, to get that last end one over by the fabrica fabrication bay, we're going to have to move the whole ship. Let's dip the bow Danger. down a little bit. Hazardous region detected. A little more so we can get the top turrets also firing. That's pretty good. We've just about destroyed all their drones too. Doesn't look like they're pooping out anymore, so. But I mean if we go back into this view, you can see I have full shields. Those drones didn't even tickle us. Oh, it looks like we have some Terran Explosion AI ends. ships coming in to help us. That's nice of them. Okay, now what we're going to do is we need to fly over this way because I want to get those other Danger. two small Hazardous defense towers out of the detected. way first. That's very nice of the Terrans to come and help us out with this assault. What we should be able to do, though, even as we're moving, is we should be able to still get this next one. Um, yeah, let's do this one next. Okay, why is it oh, our guy attacking? Okay, hold on a sec. Did I select the wrong thing? I don't know. Let's pull up. Uh oh. We got a little too close to that one. Okay, back up. Danger. Hazardous region detected. We just have to back up enough to where it can't shoot us because the fabrication bay's in the way. Okay, that should be good. All right, let me let me do this again. I think I might have hit the wrong thing here. Okay, scroll down. I don't want that defense module. I don't want that one. I want this one. There it goes. Oh, you know what? I think I, I think I actually I, I clicked it with the mouse, but I forgot to actually target it with the T key. That's what I did. Okay, so we'll just let the bottom turrets take out this guy. And we're going to need a reposition for that end platform because it's, um, it can really nail us from where it is. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Explosion imminent. Good. Okay, so what we're going to do Danger. is... up and then away from that end one but what I should actually do Danger. is get it targeted though detected. so that way some of our turrets can start hitting it so it's this this little bastard right here okay target him okay um how's our shields shields are good Shields are good. Yeah, we just got to get up and over and make sure we're not in range of the little guy. I think we're good. Why do I have fighters undocking? Oh. I don't know. That was weird. So we'll just dip the nose down and uh, 
but I mean by the time we get the Raptor repositioned that that thing might be gone anyways but if not it won't take long Explosion oh there it goes okay all right let's pause the game for a second and assess the situation so we've taken out all but the two large defense platforms of this station so let's go ahead and target this one and start working on it but it's going to take danger hazardous it's going to take a little bit longer to, to get this one taken out um you know what instead of trying to turn this thing all the way around i think i'm just going to flip it upside down Okay, good. So now we've got the the top turrets, even though they're currently on the bottom. <laughs> the top turrets are firing now. So let's start to slowly move in, but we want to make sure we don't get too close, of course. But I'd like to get close enough to get our medium turrets on it, too. Okay, so we got some of the medium guns on it too, uh, but I don't want to get any closer than this because we'll take explosion damage. All right, guys, I'm just going to time lapse these last two. It's going to take a little while, but uh, when they're completely blown up, then we'll bring in the destroyers to help take out the rest of the station. Okay, so we got this uh, defense platform Danger. done. Um, I'm I'm actually wondering if these big boys even have any turrets, because I, I I got to thinking as I was doing this, I should be in range of the their gravitons. But if they don't, then we should call everybody in because they're actually trying to rebuild their other platforms, and we need to. Make sure that doesn't happen. I'm gonna say, yeah, this guy doesn't have any turrets because he we're like super in range right now. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring the Osakas back in now, and the rattlesnake too, for that matter. So I want you guys to attack with Commander and Gamma. Joining squad. But I want you to. I'm just going to give them a general attack command on the station. Let them come at it. Okay. And I think Xenon I'm going to do the same thing here because if that defense platform doesn't have any turrets, it's not actually a threat. Okay, let's see. Supposedly, these guys are going to come back online in a minute and a half. So, we need to attack them specifically and prevent that from happening. Explosion imminent. Okay. Let's get uh, this one next. Explosion imminent. All right. Next, we have two more. We got to take out real quick. Um, yeah, let's do this one next. Should have probably started. Explosion imminent. Going after these a little okay. sooner. Hazardous detected. It'll be okay. Even if one of them does come online for a couple of moments, we should probably take it back down before it does any serious damage. 
Oh, those were set back to 24 minutes. Really? That's weird. Okay. In that case... Explosion imminent. Let's just, uh... Continue generally attacking the station. The AI of our ship is attacking the defense platform, which is fine. It's gotta go. It's all gotta go. Okay, there goes the fabrication bay. Danger. And uh, our Osaka was too close, so it lost its starboard main battery. Well, we're getting the job done. Not uh, in the way I would have liked to have seen it get done, but what can you do? So it looks like the AI is attacking those defense platforms that the enemy is trying to bring back online, which is good. All right, guys, I think we got this in the bag. It's just a matter of time now. I wonder if um, the enemy tried to bring a capital vessel in to take us out. Oh, yeah, look. There's an I and a K hole here. You can just barely see it. Of course, they, those may have been there before we, we got here. I'm not sure, but pretty nice having that the, that defense platform there to deal with the enemy. We, we will definitely be going after enemy capital vessels, though, too. But I wanted Explosion to get this... Imminent. I wanted to get this um, wharf out of this system. Because even though on paper the Xenon still own it... Danger. Hazardous region detected. The reality of the fact is that I control this system now and what happens in it. <laughs> we'll have to hop in the rattlesnake or, yeah, whatever, one of the ships and take out all their uh, building supplies too. But we'll do that after the station itself is completely destroyed. We need to take a look and see what's going on over here. We had a pirate harassing one of our ships. Okay, so I want the dragon. Oh, you guys are on intercept. They're not even helping him. Okay. Um... Let's let's have you directly attack this guy. Um, just attack him straight up. And I want you to remove all orders and fly kind of back towards these. laser towers down a little bit and over a little bit danger okay. hazardous region detected he should get away okay what are these are these she's or no those are vanguards and they'll still probably take him out we might lose a couple, but... Well, we might lose more than a couple. <laughs> Awaiting um, orders. Explosion imminent. Alright, well, you know what? Even if we lose all those no dance not that big of a deal. We can we can rebuild them dudes easily. Uh, I want to stay focused on this. Danger. Hazardous region detected. Okay, so it looks like we just have this one last um uh, section to take out here. And then we have accomplished our mission. Blowing 
the shit out of this. Orf. It's just about done. It's got 12% haul left. I'm actually going to back up a little bit. And there it goes. Awaiting orders. Okay. Danger. Hazardous region detected. So this is now a wreck. We have completely destroyed it. Now we're going to jump into the rattlesnake. Awaiting orders. And take out the um, building crates. So they don't immediately start to try and rebuild this station. I don't know why the game doesn't let us target the building supplies. Okay, so we got that taken care of. All right, guys. So, uh, what's coming up here? We're gonna we're gonna take our fleet back home. Oh well, you know what? While we're here, I might go ahead and take out these defense platforms too. But I'm gonna do that off camera. We could take all those bastards out. The thing is, is as soon as I leave, they're going to come back and rebuild them, though. So, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Uh, but if we go to this Terran, to our Terran uh, building supply, let's just look at it real quick. It's almost done. So, it's just got three more habitats, and then it's completely built. Um... But it, it's already making us money, which is great. Uh, really good, actually. So I think I have a feeling like this station, this Terran building station, Brent's Triumph, is going to be very lucrative for us. If we look at its money right now. Yeah, see, it's got 17 million. I, I did not give it that much money. It, it, it earned at least some of that. So let's pull a little bit of that out. Uh, we'll, we'll just keep it at 10 million, which is kind of what I'm keeping all my stations at. It says it needs a lot more than that, but it seems to still work as long as it's got money to do something. Um, and that brings us up to 78.2 million in the wallet, which is bad. And um, so coming up here, we're going to fully get our, our fleet built out. I think we have, if we look back in or at the Raptor yeah we have we have 91 fighters wait wait what really no we don't we have 83 why does that say 91 oh you know why it's it's counting the escort of the orca that's it okay so we basically need 17 more No, hold on a second. We can have... Yeah, we can have up to 100 fighters in the Raptor. Okay. So, we need... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm right. We need 17 more. I was right the first time. We need 17 more... Um, bombardment fighters then we'll have a full complement of fighters in the raptor and then what we're going to do is we're going to take it and use it the way it's supposed to be used and that is as a carrier and and take out some capital enemies uh, enemy capital vessels uh, coming up here so that is the plan anyways i'm gonna let you guys go here thank you very much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye